thanks for having me back to my hometown. And I see they've added something since I've been here, which is sunshine. So <laughs> it's nice. Uh, right. Anyhow, I, I, you talk about contrast. I've done a lot of things, and um, I'll go over some of what I did, so I don't forget who I'm talking about. This is me, and sign my name on my own picture. It's also simple addition to sort of make a metaphor, simple addition to make contrast. A plus B can also be in, equal innovation. I saw The Wiz, and I thought, this is un unbelievable. Michael Jackson would just all, had to hold himself down not to overpower everybody else. So you take A, and you take B, and then I had a fashion illustrator do this for me. And I went to present it. I made the call first. I called his agent. I said, you know, I really want to work on something for him. He's going to be huge. He said, come over, because we're having problems with this next album cover. So I went and saw it. His album cover looked like, it, it, just, it looked like you know, a, a sale at, um, at Mervyn's isn't around anymore. But that's what I thought of it. When I did. So I, I show it to the agent, just building at Sunset in Doheny, big high ceiling. And uh, he goes, I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know what to say. I don't get it. And then from the back, there's a big velvet drape. And his little voice squeaks out and says, I like it. So he comes out, and he said, I'll do it. He said, the only thing I really want to do is add, I want to wear white socks. And I said, if you're going to wear white socks, then I want you to get some loafers, wear the white socks, roll up your pants, and pull them up in your pockets like Gene Kelly. So we went out to shoot it. He wanted to shoot it at the Hollywood Planetarium, which I knew the architecture was going to overpower the whole thing, but that's where Rebel Without a Cause was shot. He wanted this because he wanted the iconic background of the scene where James Dean had the knife fight in Rebel Without a Cause. And he was late. He just got his license, 21. New rolls all smashed on the sides. Ran up, changed in the ladies' room. And I said, remember this? This is what we want. So we went back, went to a photo studio, and I'm sitting there, I can't think of a way to make this work. I went out in the alley, and there's a wall and a loading dock. And I said, well, this looks even more theatrical than just having them standing around. It looks like the back door of a Broadway theater. So I had him stand there and then later added the glow around the socks and, do, and get, get a little animated with the glow. So then that works. I get a call from the agent. He says, he, now he wants two white gloves. And I said, how about one? So he stuck with one. The contrast. So you take him then, it looks like van upholstery actually. To, I think this is the victory, victory tour. And he went back to the all, then adapted all black and white. And that became sort of his brand mark. Then he took, and, took the idea of the glow. I had airbrushed around the socks and had Bob Mackey make these so that they'd glitz. And that look became so iconic that somebody else could wear it and you still get who it was all about.